What up, Braz? I'm out here with Riley. He's on the 36 anniversary edition, 2015. Bone stock besides the little Yoshi Bear slip on. Uh, Y'all might remember it from a previous video. Um, yeah, so we're, uh, we wanted to run a test through traffic and stuff to see how well Riley can keep up with me or if he has no problem at all keeping up with me. That is just to see how fast this bike actually is. I was whizzing through traffic earlier and I can go really fast through traffic with this thing. It's so nimble and easy to just dodge and weave through stuff. So whatever speed I do have, I can maintain very easily. And then of course, you know, Dirty Six. It's Dirty Six, so it's got way more power than this thing. So yeah, I don't know. We'll just be interested to see how they stack up against each other. <laughs> Almost at it. I'm having a hard time keeping it straight. Hey, we're we gonna do some zero to 60 pulls and stuff like that, which I'm gonna ask Riley about right now. Hey! Uh, he's adjusting his levers. It's getting serious out here. Let's take a hit. Yeah, he definitely got me there. If I wouldn't have wheelied, if I wouldn't have wheelied, it might have been different. There, it's just this side. This side, really. Yeah, if I don't wheelie, really, I can stay with them in first gear, but then, then by the time I get through first gear and hit second gear, the 600 gets into the RPMs, and then she gone. <laughs> You're in third? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so even in a third gear pull at low speed, I stay with him, but <clears throat> Just whenever he gets to his mid-range, he's gone. So, so basically, what the power seems to be mathing out is they can they can match up in the low RPM, which isn't saying much. Okay. All right, Braze, you heard Riley. Now we're gonna just shred and just see how it fares with a dirty six. If there's any advantage on the highway in traffic at all. Which I mean, I can say for a fact that it's more nimble on the highway, but that necessarily doesn't mean it's gonna equate to being faster. Because the 636 might not be quite as uh, nimble, but with all the power it has, it may just make up for it. Oh, he's got to me!
quero dar dar <risos> Get on the highway with them. <laughs> well, with moderate traffic, I might be able to dive bomb through a few turns faster than him. Or, you know, a few cuts, but still, I need more room. That way, still need more room to get away from him. Just don't have it. Or I don't necessarily need more room. Oh, thank you, 360 cam, for freezing up. You piece of f garbage. Worthless camera. Never in my life had a more worthless camera than that 360 cam. Y'all guys suck. The few times it works, it's amazing, but it's got to be somewhat consistent. It could be less amazing and just more consistent, and I would be happy. Like this GoPro. This GoPro is freaking consistent. It just can't do everything the 360 cam can do. But god dang, when I turn it on, it stays on. I'm like, I, I, I don't have to look at my mirrors right now. I know I'm talking to you guys. See? I know it! It is, there's, you, you got all the speed. I can't, <laughs> I'm already pinned out. <laughs> Was it boring? No. Yeah. Oh, boys, that'll conclude today's video. What up, Harley, dude? Uh, I'm gonna get out of here, take Riley home, and then I'm gonna take myself home. And, and then uh, on to the next video, boys. I think that makes three videos with this bike. And I've enjoyed every one of them. So, yeah, what my final conclusion about the R7 is it definitely doesn't stand up to the 600s. You need super thick traffic to even be moving faster than a 600 in it it just doesn't have enough power and it is a little disappointing that at the low end it doesn't even pull on the 600s when the 600s have no low end so that is a little bit disappointing yeah that's a little disappointing 
And yeah, blah blah blah, you can mod it, I know, who cares. But the stock versus the stock 600, it's the same as a souped up 600 versus a souped up R7. You know, like, it's still gonna be the same kind of outcome where it just doesn't have it in the low end to even pull on the bikes a little. I would wish this bike would pull on the crotch rockets for the first two gears. I wish it had that much power, but it just doesn't, and that's okay. That's okay, because it doesn't take away from the fact that this bike is just super fun to ride. An incredibly nimble wheeling machine. It is so nimble. All of it, but yeah, it really doesn't. There's not a whole lot to stack up against another 600. But a pack of R7s flying through traffic, a lot of fun. Riley said he wasn't bored at any point riding around me just now, even though we could only keep it around 120 miles an hour. You know, it'd go a little over 120 miles an hour, but for the most part, 120 miles an hour, still fun. So yeah, if you're thinking about getting one, definitely get one. But don't get one if you think you're going to compete with any of the 600s. Except through dead stop traffic. You'll smoke a 600 dead stop traffic. But that's about it, Brace.